Hey guys, I'm back at again with another video, and I'm kind of not feeling that well today. Well, a little bit. Because <clears throat> my throat is freaking hurting like hell on my arm, too. But I'm going to do this anyway because I feel like getting plus. Come on, I'm really. I'm not that sick, but. Eh. Still hurts like hell, but yeah. Anyway, the profile today, we are doing. Theme. Space Female Godzilla Final Wars, the mother of Crystal Godzilla and the grandmother of Core Godzilla. Now, let's, now her height, she's actually around the same height as her son. And she's actually around the same length as him as well. Her design is similar to Godzilla Final Wars, obviously. <laughs> But with a few more, with a few more different features. That being said, she also has a mixture of, she also has a bit of the hate, the Indominus Rex design the two. Like with the quails, the little quails on her, on his shoulder, on like, well, the elbows and the neck. Or mainly on the elbows. But there's still some on the neck. She also has a monster's nightmare tail. She has Godzilla Ultima spikes on her. And she has 2014 and Shin Godzilla Dorsal Spikes. Which is, I guess, which is, you could say, oh, and Heisei Godzilla. So that will basically explain the. The 2014 dorsal spines that Crystal Godzilla and the rest of his offspring, grand offspring, has. Now she is also 100% Elder Gojira, and she is actually, and she is part of the Jungle Clan, or specifically the Out. Or basically, specifically called. Well, I'm, I haven't came up with a full, with an actual name for it yet. But I'm gonna call it the Jungle Clan for now. Since well, obviously, they live in the jungles. Now. Now moving on to our family tree. Gordon knows she's the she's the descendants of of Lord of Lord Space Dagon. And she is the and of course she's the daughter of No. <clears throat> she's actually the the cousin of of Space Godzilla 2019, and and of course she's obviously the the daughter of Space Hasty Godzilla and and right and female rage cross and female space space female Godzilla rage cross time and rage ah ah you don't forget space female rage goji her mates her mates are unicron and who is well shadow panther who they both have hornzilla and unicron who have well crystal godzilla and Sp and diamond goat and diamond godzilla who is his who is their daughter Not that much is known about her origins, but she. Not both her and her brother, I forgot to mention. Who is Space Millennium Godzilla. Was born from the Jungle Clan. And she was actually the firstborn and crowned queen of the space. Queen of all space Godzillas. King of all. Or queen 
of all space kaijus and the lord and the maiden of all the maiden of all space monsters she does do have rivals her rival being the one and only space legendary Ghidorah and at surprisingly space Sh space Anime Ghidorah and Space Destroyer. But her most common enemy, but also her other rival is actually Space Moon Prime. Her personality, she is very, very peed off almost half the time. She is usually extremely aggressive, territorial, but usually sometimes, but usually she is also sweet, kind, and generous. And that's why she's overtaken by her offspring. Titles. She is known as the as the elder goddess of anger, rage, and wrath. As you guys already know about her other her other titles as Queen of All Space Godzilla and Maiden of the Space Kaiju. <clears throat> uh like all like many others of her kind she, Let me eyes on her kind. Anyway, sorry. She had, she had, she had that top standard, well, plasma, plasma breath. Like the other members of her kind. And which is actually pretty. <clears throat> and which is pretty interesting about her too. Is she actually does have a female mate. Now, you guys are gonna be confused saying she does. Yeah, like she does have a female mate. And what's her name? Still trying to come up. Still trying to work on the name. So, give me some a little bit more time for it. Man, back on the abilities. Her other abilities, that being said, is she actually has. She actually has a very powerful plasma punch. Or should I say. Or should I say. A dark morning star impact. Which is where her son gets that from. <clears throat> and you guys want to know how this ability works? This ability is where is where a giant sharp like approvals and a swarm around her her arms and engulf them like like in a rock like substance, coming in and golden like spikes on them. And will deliver a a lot of punches. <sighs> she also has. She is also pretty fast for for a creature her size, but yet she took down bigger creatures too. She has immense strength, like literally able, like her son, who can literally shout continents. Well, her son, okay, it's like this. Her 
her son can shatter mountains, but she can shatter moons. And her red spiral ray, and her spiral ray, or should I say her plutonium ray, once, once she fire that on somewhere, it will literally just right back anything that's that that plays. Like it can lay really wipe out around one hundred thousand suns with stars. <clears throat> now she does have some markings on her arms and on the right side of her face. I forgot to mention what well, actually start started lighting up when she at least her her plasma breath. And she only died once, but with the help of of aliens and by Unicron himself, she was actually managed to come back and look for her son. And you guys wanna know when she will meet her son? Well, when will female space can tell followers will meet her son? I'll probably let her see her she'll probably see her son in ep when he was ba when he's basically like a <clears throat> a young adult. And she will make an appearance, and she will make appearances in the movies, in, in some of Crystal Godzilla's movies. Now, forms. Hers, she does not that many forms either. The only form she seems to have is similar to her son's. Her her son's was dangerous form, but hers is far more worse. And remember I said her temperament and oh I oh yeah I forgot. Her temperament is a is literally the same as Mad Godzilla's temperament. And not this that her strength and her power level is literally the same as his as well. That being said, that being said, though, if if aliens decide to mind control this big girl, yeah, yeah, I could say the entire multiverse is in, is doomed. But anyway, her form it's actually similar to her son. To her sense form, but hers is literally called destructive. Destructive is where she actually gets set on fire. But it is a like green, well no, violet and red fire surrounding her. And it will also surround her, the markings she has, her spines, her eyes, and even her mouth and nose. And some of the, and some of the cuts and and some of the scratches and scars that she has on her were also start being in flames as well. But if you see her in this form, get the hell out of there. There is no way to calm her down. But the only one who can is obviously her her second her mate. Not Child Panther or Unicron, no, they no, they're saying F that. I ain't, I ain't dealing with that. It's her female. It's her female mate. I'm still working on her name, so get. I'll probably make a profile for her, and that basically makes Crystal Godzilla's. I'll probably just make that you guys probably know would be Crystal Godzilla's stepmom. Uh. 
I probably will reveal the, the name for who is Female Space Godzilla Final Wars. It's probably after this video. <coughs> but yeah, there ain't no. But yeah, besides the her mate and all springs, she. They ain't like no one to calm her down. Yeah, this form is straight out catastrophic as hell. We pro I will do a profile on both her sons and her and her uh, and her power levels too, probably in the near future. Now, now rank. She's an alpha. She's an alpha member of her species. She is the first. She is one of the most powerful Elder Gojiras, rivaled by her son and her, rivaled by her offsprings, and surpassed by her, by the first of, the first of the Bloodline Lord Space Dagon, who is known by myth and legends. Now, well, I guess that's gonna be it for the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And she does have. A, oh yeah, I also forgot to mention. She does have some adopted siblings, and her brother, her brother Millennium Space Godzilla, Space Millennium Godzilla. Is actually one of them, so I forgot to mention them. So, yeah, sorry. But anyway, that's gonna be it for the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Remember, along with the king. And tell me, and tell me, do you guys want to hear from for who is Crystal Godzilla's stepmother? Who is her his stepmother? Or any other of Crystal Godzilla's siblings, offsprings, mates, or or his son's new or his son's mates. Comment in the comments below who you guys want. Peace out.